Yeah, I changed my virtual background to be Center Park. <laughs> and, uh, you know, upper west side, upper east side, uh, hoping we'll settle more. Yeah, right now in, in Thailand, we have another wave <laughs> of COVID and uh, uh, we still you know, pray and meditate. Yeah, no matter where we are right now, be a good energy, be a good force for anyone that will, will, will look for the, the light. So hope soon I can go back and walk in the park. <laughs> and meet it of you okay so uh, before we have a topic today uh, let's have some inner peace time first yeah and we have uh, just some talk and some sharing so from this moment Let's spend the relaxing time to let go, to be free from the past and the future. Be in the present moment. Calmness, with relaxation, and allow yourself to settle down. Calm, peaceful, gentle, and simple. Relax. Take a deep breath if you like. Breathe in softly. And breathe out slowly. In and out. In a soft and gentle way. No rush. No thoughts, just surrender. Surrender to peace, calmness, gentleness. Breathe in and breathe out, softly and gently. Calm and peaceful and relax. Take a deep breathing. You can feel more gentle, relaxed in a simple way. Allow everything to settle down, every single cell, every single part in your body, settle down and just release, release all concern worries and be gentle maintain your good feeling maintain your nice feeling and let it be so gentle And simple, calm, 
this spoon. Finalize. Before feel more loosen and gentle. Allow your attention gently settle down to touch your center. Gently and softly touch your center and just be be with yourself like you're sitting in a beautiful center park blue sky dog running with the fresh air with the green scenery a serene reservoir and feel nice, feel free. Allow that pure sensation, natural sensation, bring you down, settle down inside yourself. Touch and forth, believe and feel kindness, feel warm and love, sharing from inner best friend across the continent, when we in different places in the world. But we connect from our center in a peace, serenity, kindness. Allow yourself to be embraced with peace, with love, with kindness. In a soft and gentle way, calm, peaceful, and gentle at your center. We enjoy this moment. Just be there and do nothing. Just surrender. Feel love, feel happy. And if any thought running by, let them fly away. Do not pay attention to the thought, let them fly away. And enjoy this moment. Just be. Do nothing. And use the mantra if you like. Samaram. 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 Maintain your good feeling. Maintain your nice feeling. Samaram. Purify your mind to be free from all negativity. Samara. Samara. Maintain your good feeling. Maintain your nice feeling. And continue meditating in silence. For a moment. So. 
You remain calm, peaceful and gentle inside yourself through the moment of silence. You feel some peace, some love shining from within. Allow that Feel awareness, expand to cover your body. Feel every single cell, every single part in your body. Loving, joyful, and happy. Allow that pure consciousness to touch your loved ones, your family, your friends, and expand this pure awareness out from your home to your neighborhood, to your country, and cover the whole world with pure love, pure light, and shining mind, a peaceful mind. Let it flow. Let this pure energy vibrate. And be with you throughout the day or till you go to bed tonight. Sapata no bhavena, sapatama no bhavena, sapasankha no bhavena, sata bhutu. And slowly and gently open your eyes. Still remain calm and peaceful inside yourself. Gently open your eyes. How was it? <laughs> How do you feel? Refreshing. Let's have some few minutes. You know, move your body a bit. Get some oxygen, uh, and we return for wisdom talk today. The origins of prejudice, and how we're gonna fix it. Yes. Let's have some moment of break. Okay. So let's get start. <laughs> can we share my screen and let's see if you can see clear up. Okay, can you see the screen clearly? Okay, thanks. Nice. I guess the topic today is very timely. And uh, 
I'm very eager to understand more about this thing that why people hate each other. And so I look into Buddha teaching. I think the other day I discussed with few about this, like a bias, prejudice thing, and what Buddha talk about this. So today I found it and I'm gonna share with you not only the cause, how this thing come up, but how we're gonna turn it around. Uh, we have uh, today the topic uh, is not too many slides. So we have uh, some more time for the practical solution that how we gonna overcome and for sure every time start from ourselves first, <laughs> not someone else. Okay, so this is uh, what I found you know, in the Pali Canon, the closest thing possible for the prejudice thing. Buddha talked with the monks. Monks, there are these four ways of taking the wrong course. Like uh, why people do the wrong thing? Why people go, they don't understand that? Or why? Why people do things that we think is, is it's not supposed to do. What for, Buddha said, one takes a wrong course because of design. I, I will finish all the Pali Canon first and I will go back to it one by one in more detail. What for, one take a wrong course because of design, because of hatred, because of delusion, or because of fear, yeah. These are the four ways of taking a wrong course. He continued. If true desire, hate, fear, or delusion, one transgresses against the Dhamma, one fame diminish like the moon in the dark fortnight. If one does not transgress against the Dhamma, true desire, hate, fear, or delusion, one fame become full like the moon in the bright fortnight. Yeah, that's from the book of the four, Amputara Nikaya. Yeah, the closest thing to what happening right now in the world. Uh, this is like, you know, the old language. So uh, you can look, that design can be greed. <laughs> can be like, a, oh, why they do that thing? They don't tell I'm greedy or uh, I love this group more than this group. They will not say, they will not say. But Buddha said, that's the real reason behind their look like kind of hmm, wrong action or why they do those things. It might be that they have some hidden uh, agenda about greed or uh, they have some love or desire to the people in different way. And that's clear because of hatred. Yeah, they don't like each other. Um, today, I would like to talk about this as the, the practical way, really. Yeah, we need to practice this four things, desire, hatred, delusion, and fear with ourselves first. Yeah, we should have this four things. Uh, some in slight degree or more on either one, but let's think about this. Let's think about it. Even in the, you know, in a family or in a classroom anywhere. Yeah. When someone, when someone make trouble all the time, make trouble all the time. Yeah. In family or in a classroom or in a company, make trouble all the time. 
and create a lot of hatred in the place. And then the other person, be kind, be nice with everyone. When they do the same mistake, we tend to forgive the one. Exact same trouble. They both make the same trouble. But we tend to forgive the one who be kind, be gentle more than the one who make trouble all the time. Can you, can you see that slight inclination toward um, you know, a little bias or it is not like one plus one equal two in the real world. <laughs> yeah, we, we tend to have a uh, tendency in the family also. I think brother, sister, it's not fact-based, it's emotion-based. And when people who in the upper hand, they not complain in a good situation, but if they're in the lower hand, like at the inner back, they try to use logic then. That why you, you have bias toward me? Why you have prejudice toward me? This and that. The one that is the very um, challenging, yeah, I think is fear. And I'm sure in the past uh, four years or more or even more longer period, uh, Sometimes fear is the big reason for the action of person, of company, or even the country, like create fear, look like a fact, but it's fearful, then take action. So when people in the fearful mode, that fear eyeglass, you know, make them don't see the real thing. And my teacher, the wise Sabbath Lampatata said, but the most challenging one is delusion or ignorance. They understood the wrong thing as the ultimate right thing. And the wise Sabbath said, oh, this is very challenging. When they have delusion, when they have ignorant, but they don't know that they don't know. So they, they didn't check it with any cautious uh, action. They do the wrong thing in the way they think this is right. We had a great challenge, right? <laughs> but Buddha said, this is how people go to the wrong way. Desire, hatred, delusion, or fear. If we are not, if we are not enlightened yet, we will still have this four. Small degree, bigger one on some day. Yeah, desire, hate, fear, or delusion. Buddha point out. Try the best to look at the Dhamma. The Dhamma means the good guideline from the enlightened one. This is the way we should treat ourselves. This is the way we should treat other people. Like use that as a guideline, not use your desire, hate, fear, or delusion. Not easy, right? Sometimes because it's kind of blur in the modern capitalism and marketing, you know, sometimes they promote the wrong culture. And uh, we need to look back to what enlightened one said. So when anyone not go flow with the Dharma, with a good guideline, they become less famous or they are not accepted. Yeah, like the dark fortnight, the moon in the dark fortnight. But if anyone practice toward the Dharma, not let desire, hate, fear, or delusion control, they will become more accepted and their influence will be bigger. Yeah, I'm sure there might be some uh, faces, some uh, name coming up in your mind right now. 
uh, we're going to discuss that in this 2021, how this ancient system will work. Okay, so that is the original uh, Pali Canon that I found and would like to share with you. So in summary, four ways of prejudice or bias. It decides this, prejudice, hate bit, prejudice, fear based, prejudice, and delusion based prejudice, the most challenging one. They don't know that they don't know. And they do the wrong thing as the most righteous thing they can do. This is very dangerous. Yeah. So that is the origin according to Pali Canon by Buddha. So I propose, and we can discuss more after my talk, three steps to fix the prejudice for one's own and beyond. You know, every time when I talk anything the Buddha way, uh, with money, with politics or uh, society or anything. Yeah, we don't talk politics it's like a so good society. <laughs> it start from oneself always. Yeah, not point out, but look within. Yeah, how I will become that living Dharma first. Those three steps to fix the prejudice for one's own and beyond. And you can use that at home. You can use that at company, school, anywhere. Number one, be a part of solutions, not a part of the problems. Yeah, this is very critical in our uh, perception of the media, of the news, or uh, we call it night, like uh, information. <laughs> Do not step into the problem part. How, how are we gonna draw the line? that now you are part of the solution or now you start to be a part of the problem already. Yeah. My teacher, Lompao Damasio, he said, when your mind touch anything, but it's still clear and wholesome, you can be a solution. When your mind touch anything, it become cloudy with greed, with anger, with hatred. Now you are more into the problem one because your state of mind is not in the good energy side. Yeah, it starts to be in the, even good intention, good intention for something, but it starts to be in the mode that not quite wholesome. It like become unwholesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's not easy in this modern world that thing become drama every day and that's how the news gonna sell. Yeah, it, it should not be just normal, but something dramatic always. So that's very important step to fix the prejudice for ourselves first. Be a part of solution, keep your mind clear and bright as much as possible. Yeah, when anything come, a person, uh, a situation, solution side, clear and wholesome mind, not step into the problem one that you might become the next problem without knowing. Yeah, because not clear mind, not happy and understanding mind. Number two, be self touch and connect with good friend. I have some more quote from the Buddha I'm gonna show. And number three, be balanced and start with the right people. Yeah. And who is the right people who start? Oneself. <laughs> That's number one. Yeah, make sure that you understand this for prejudice clearly. And then you can check. <laughs> yeah, today, what prejudice come in or not, or if you are free, Good, then you can move on, yeah. The number two, be self touch and connect with good friend. 
And this is a very meaningful conversation between two enlightened ones. One is Venerable Sariputta and one is Venerable Maha Gotita. The chair thought, friend, how many conditions are there for the arising of right view, right? If we think that the biggest problem right now is something stupid, like a how come thing happen that way? And now you start to see, right? It, it might be desire, it might be hatred, it might be fear, or it might be pure delusion, right? So the Buddha said it's come from this four. Then it's from that wrong will become right view. Friend, there are two conditions for the rising of right view. One is the void of another. Yeah, in Pali it's called Pratokosa, the voice of another. What's that? And wise attention. These are two conditions for the rising of the right view. Yeah. I can uh, summarize this for you. At the temple, we heard this all the time from our teacher. Do not wait for someone else <laughs> to teach you always. We got no one with anyone all the time. We are with ourselves 24 seven, <laughs> right? So make sure that you spend time meditate, learning some Dharma, take care of yourself and use Yoniso Manasikara. That's a Pali term, yeah, for wise attention. Important every day. Spend some time with wisdom, especially wisdom from silent mind. That when you get to that silent mind, pure energy, open the door for good thought, for good ideas. Yeah. So that's number one. And the second part, connect with good friend along the way. Buddha said. If you want to live a good path of spiritual life that take care of your soul well, it's not just you because we are not in the good performing mode every day. Someday, you know, the ball hit your head without telling. At that moment, connect with someone else. And this uh, weekly wisdom pool is a part of the, that good friend community. Yeah, reach out to someone else and might be that, oh, they, you are not the first one to confront this difficult situation. Then the voice of another will be helpful. So be mindful, not step into the problematic zone, step into solution zone. And number two, meditate more, learn more learn from enlightened one. How are we gonna fix this problem? One zone, family, company or anywhere. And be more powerful by connecting with someone else. And the last one, be balanced and start with the right people. Um, if anyone meditate on the daily basis, you know, you know, it's challenging that someday you're sleepy and you try to put yourself up. Okay, today not sleepy. And then, wow, you have wonderful meditation. The next day, you're not sleepy anymore. But your mind cannot really let go from that good meditation. <laughs> and then the good meditation doesn't come up on that day. You got to not balance too much, too less, right? So why fixing one's own prejudice? And when you start to doing well, you more conscious of anything and you start to help other people. Too much focus outside and try to help. Sometimes you lost your balance. And that is the challenge 
as a challenge. I, I always share with all my team that the more you hear other people, the more you need to look how you can take care of yourself better. And it's always like that. You know, when you five years as a monk, 10 years, 20 years, they're expecting that you're gonna handle things better or you are longer in the Dharma or, but the truth is if you're not enlightened yet, everything's ups and down. So we need to have a good balance. Buddha said, monk, you have only two works, teach yourself, help others. If you're not enlightened yet, teaching yourself part, never get done. So on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, it's always about balancing. Yeah, how you make sure you work on developing your Dharma and why you extending your Dharma to help other people, make sure that you not lose that self-cultivation process along the way. And if you are more advanced, you can feel better by help someone else. And then that good energy come back for your self development. Uh, I would like to end my talk today with this interesting picture. It's called how to change the world. And uh, you see on the, the red, look like, look like a, rectangular part like that first part and the end and you see in the picture all right that people they have that look like a dead sign maybe talk hatred and then that one person in the second box on the first line he talk love and those many hatred people like i don't understand still talk bad on the second line he still no I'm not, I'm not into that problem thing. It's love and peace, keep continuing. And you can see like from the, the first one, everyone no love. The second line, just one person. Oh, interesting, what are you talking? What is that? Then he was kicked out <laughs> from the big group, you see? <laughs> that person that started showing like, were kicked out. Then two person more and they you know happiness growing then they start to look at that two person huh? why did they look happy like that and more people join the other side there one person you see on the third line still hatred <laughs> just one everyone like no 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 and finally everyone tough love and then why not yeah, so that's how uh, little, little, <laughs> we can change the world by changing ourselves to be happier little by little every day and spray that happiness to anyone who might need it. Who knows, just by be stable yourself, be true to the Dharma every single day, one day, one candle can fill up the whole stadium. Next candle lit up, next candle lit up, just pass on and the whole stadium is bright and shining. Okay, so I think that's all. So I'm gonna pass the microphone to Phil <laughs> for our conversation about how to solve this prejudice thing. <laughs>